Okay, I got rid of the cameraman. And we're going to go ahead and try this again. Christmas family eggs take two. All right, so. Oh, already it's running off the edge. So, like I said before, don't get near the edge. Because if you get near the edge, ow, sugar, you lose half the egg. How do you do that? Okay, see him in the inside, so it's okay. Oh, nope, it ran to the edge. <laughs> All right, so I'm losing half the egg to the edge. I'll show you in just a second. Let me finish cracking the eggs. I got some hungry people, so I gotta do five eggs. All right, so I got five eggs on the top. So let that cook for a sec. Okay, so I'm going to take it up and show you what we got going on here. So this time I put it on medium heat to see if it would change it. Got to put a little salt, pepper on these eggs. Doing it just like I would feed my family normally. Here's the eggs. As you can see, even though I moved this one up here in the corner, it still ran itself right to the edge. So it's going to get right in that edge. And to be honest, after this thing cooled off, it actually wiped up pretty well. Don't try to uh, clean it while it's hot because then you think it just doesn't work. So get a little fresh ground pepper on there. Okay. I have never really used a... Um, Anything but a plastic spatula, so this is a little new for me. All right, take two. Okay, maybe it was my heat last time, so don't put it on high heat. Okay, got the first one flipped. Oh, ah, we got a runner. Oh, losing my yellows. Never said I was the best egg maker. Probably why my husband bought this for me. Okay. Still is getting a little sticky up there in the corner, but I think because the heat doesn't really hit up there, that's really the trick you got to worry about is where it's sitting on the actual um, stove because you don't get an even heat. Obviously, you're working with a square pan on a circular burner. Okay. So, so far, pretty good. Except for I broke one yolk, but that's my own fault. So, key to this... Oh, I broke two yolks. That's not good. I would say the key to this, then, is the heat. Do not have it too high. If you do, you will end up with a blackened mess like my last time. Uh, do not use a plastic one because it will melt to the pan. And before you clean the plant, the pan, make sure that it is cool or just warm. So you're not too hot to handle but not too cold um, to wipe off. So that is my review of the Gotham pan. I still like my lodge better. Uh... Once you get a lodge and you really season it, it works the same way. So, or I'll just use my frying pan for my eggs. I don't know. I'm kind of out on this one. I don't really know. Anyway, it looks like my eggs are done. Thanks, guys.